Alright, hi everyone, what's up? How you doing? Welcome, hope you're having a good day. Also, sweat sweat. Are you taking my new sweatshirt? I got my I got my simple flip sweatshirt. It's pretty cool, I think. Stream title. It doesn't have full clay, don't worry, it's just normal, we're fine. Yeah, uh, we're gonna take a little break from um, um, 90, and we're gonna do this funny map called Floating Oil Rig. Uh, it's like a pretty short map, and it has a bunch of spike tech. It's like pretty cursed. I played it casually a while ago. Uh, I heard that Golden, even though it seems really silly, is actually kind of fun, so I'm curious. Floating Oil Rig. Uh... So, uh, good luck. <laughs> if you've not seen this map before, this map is a little bit silly. It's it's a, it's a spike tech map. It's just like corner drop. It's just cor it's corner drops and stuff. Um, I forgot how this works. But this map is surprisingly like fun. All right, no normal one's like tier five. I think I think it's like tier five. Wait, I don't see. You know, I'm gonna grab someone's golden video because like I wanna learn the the proper strats right away. Oh, it is literally one pixel off. Can you skip the wall bones? Oh, I have no clue how to do that. Oh, it creeps us like that, right? Well, this is what I get for being like, uh, I'm too lazy to watch a 20 minute golden video. Also, yeah, chat, if you haven't heard yet, uh, Crystal Garden has been golden today, which is uh, really funny. Oh yeah, the funniest part about C's doing Crystal Garden golden is that previous hardest golden was a 1A. There's now two people that have done funny jumps with Crystal Garden. Someone went from an expert map being their hardest clear to clearing Crystal Garden, and someone went from 1A being their hardest golden to Crystal Garden being their hardest golden. So some rooms have a checkpoint in the middle like this one has a checkpoint at the by now i think so this room is like two checkpoints i think it's like three rooms otherwise there we go so i'm pretty sure this map has like has like some special thing going on that makes spiked wall bounces more lenient i forgot what exactly but these are like factory helper spikes i think rusty spikes yeah they're, they're like they're like they're like special spikes and in some way to make spike wall bounces more lenient i forgot in what way exactly though Right, like normally to make a spike wall bounce, you have to move right so it doesn't kill you. Uh, but now you can just wall bounce like without doing that. You can just wall bounce like this, because the wall bounce leniency works through the spike hit bug, which is normally not the case. I already said yesterday I was gonna do this today, but I might do it like either later today or like tomorrow maybe. I do want to play too. Okay. <laughs> yeah, chucked it. If you enter the bird wrong, it flings you into Indonesia. This was a 90B. If you enter the bird here, right dash, it, 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 it puts you here, right? Up dash puts you there. Now look what happens if you enter this bird in upright. So now you enter the bird from the top over here. It lines up the gap perfectly. It's like over a tile of difference. Look at it was here, now it's here. Enter the bird. <laughs> God damn it, shot. You know what I meant. You know what I'm talking about. In a very specific, uh, at, a, at like the highest pixel you can't f fill high dash by 0 0.00008 of a pixel or something it's really dumb <laughs> otherwise you can always just fill height the right dash at the uh at, like point of no return room two except if you enter the balance orb at the highest pixel then you miss it by 0 0.00008 um oh it has snowballs in this as well right type one in chat if you love snowballs type 2 in chat if you love oshiro type 3 in chat if you love both and type 4 if you hate both i'm just curious <laughs> i see a lot of force there's like snowballs i've seen like a few cool cases where like i've seen a few rare cases where snowballs were kind of neat oshiro though i don't think i've ever seen like <laughs> a fun oshiro section i'll be honest I think I've ever played an Oshiro section that I de thought, dang, that Oshiro section was banger, I love that. Like, wind can be fun, especially if it's, like, in your back and it makes you go faster. Wind can be pretty fun, to be fair. It's just wind, like, in your face sucks most of the time. You know what I think is really funny? I, I, I almost daily get the question, how many days do you think it will take until you get 90 platinum? And I'm like, I'm actually, I think it's actually insane how many people just ask that question, like, I can't read the future. What do you like? What do you mean? Oh, this, 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 like the hardest thing anyone has ever done. How, how many days do you think it's gonna take? And I'm like, bro, I don't know. <laughs> it can be like two thousand days. It can be five hundred days. It can be thirty days. It can't be thirty days, but you know. How do? But so many people think I can just like estimate that. Like that's not something you can estimate. Uh, so basically, 
we had like uh what's it, what's it called again mandela effect right yeah a lot of we, we they were just having we were just having mandela effect over that napasta never got 70 golden like a lot of people in chat were convinced that napasta got 70 golden but he never did he never got 70 golden and then uh, and then someone joked like oh actually napasta got 70 golden yesterday and i don't know it was it, it, it happened out of that conversation i forgot exactly how Oiled up snowball. I know what it's made out of. Okay. There we go. 329 death. Hell yeah. Woo. I don't want to collect the heart until I get the golden. Okay, that's like, that's like, that's like, that's like first playthrough or second playthrough, I guess. There seems to be like three issue. A lot of it seems like it gets pretty consistent. There's like the very first section, the last one, and then like, uh, the second last. Oh God, it's like backloaded, isn't it? <laughs> okay, I can't, I'm gonna tell the story now. Right, I, I ordered this sweater like in June, right? But it has to ship from like US, takes a while. It was supp supposed to arrive like July 29th, I think, or July 27th. It got delayed a bit to July 27th, uh, 29th, right? So July 29th happens and it's like not here. So I checked like the track and trace website thing and it says delivered. And I'm like, fuck, no, it's not. I like, I don't have it. So I just, I was like, okay, I'll just wait a day, see if it still ha ha like happens, right? So I wait a day, I wait another day. It's like not there. Uh, we didn't get like any notes in like the, the door with like oh it's delivered to like the neighbors here or it's like oh is it this place or here's a code nothing i got nothing there was nothing it was not like placed around the door next to the door nope there, it was just nowhere so like today like uh today i was like okay i have to look into this right because like i don't know where the heck the package is so i go i go because like uh in the tracker thing it said like dhl everywhere it has like the entire like route it took it went from here to here to here and every it said it went by dhl so like okay dhl posts i can like i'm just gonna ask their customer support right so like okay i'm like okay i'm gonna I'm, but there's like three different dhl things so like i just like try to i go to like dhl parcel i think and i like i like talk with like this chatbot thing and this, and the, the chatbot is like i don't recognize this track and trace code this is and i'm like okay god damn it so then a real person comes into the chat and is like, hey, can I help you? I'm like, yeah, blah, 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 this, this, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, yeah, we don't do international. You need to go to DHL Express. I'm like, okay, thanks. And then I go to DHL Express and then like, I, I can't find their customer support. And then I read in my thingy that it's a DHL e-commerce, e I think. So I'm like, okay, I'll go to D DHL e-commerce. And I go there and then the customer support and then it, it says like oh click your country so i go to netherlands and it says page 404 not found and i'm like okay try like germany and it says page 404 not found try if you need a customer support go here i click on it it links back to the previous page and i'm like bro what do you mean <laughs> it just it just is literally a circle it's just like oh here's the customer support netherlands page 404 not found do you need a customer support you can define it here and it just links back and i'm like Okay, so I'm like, okay, what's the phone number of DHL e-commerce? So I, I get the phone number of EHL, DHL e-commerce, right? And I call it and I have to wait in line for like 20 minutes for like for before I me and then like after 20 minutes I get this guy in the line and he's like, what can I help you with? So I tell the entire thing again and and he's like, okay, what's the code? And I tell them the code and then he's like, uh, oh yeah, we only do stuff up to in the Netherlands and there a post and L takes over. I'm like Post and L is involved with this and I'm like I thought like literally never in my thing that it say post and L was involved. It, it said DHL everywhere. It said like delivery done by like dirt like Deutsche whatever the heck DHL the full thing. And I'm like so it's not my post and L. And he he gives me a different code that I didn't have and I'm like okay that's just like the packet code thingy. So I go to post and L website and I type in my thingy, and it's like, oh, your package is found at like this this store in your town. I'm like, okay, thank God, I found it at least. But like, I for some reason I never got that code, I never got the memo that like Postnel was doing the delivery. Anyway, uh, it also said that it gets sent back to the to the to where it came from on the fifth. And I checked the date, and it's the fourth. And I'm like. Thank God I decided to do this today, because if there was tomorrow, I would probably have been too late. Anyway, it also said that, like, I needed to pay some kind of taxing, I had to pay 15 bucks to pick it up, and I'm like... Whatever, okay, sure. 
So, like, I, I am like, okay, my, my, I have a new phone. I can't use my bank card from my phone because it doesn't work for some reason. So, I, like, I tried to find, like, 15 bucks in physical money. And I found, like, a t 10 euro bill on my desk. And I tried to look for something else. There isn't anything else. I go to, like, this thing with a bunch of coins. I found, like, a bunch of 20 cent coins. So, my ass scrapes together 5 more euros from 20 cent coins. And I walk to this store that has it, right? And, like, a, a friend of my mom works here. And she's like, oh, hi. And I'm like, okay, hey. And I'm like, oh, the package. And she's like, well, normally I could just give it to you. Also, because I know you. But, like, since this is from, like, international and you have to pay for it, I need your identification. I'm like, I didn't take it in that identification. So I, I need to walk all the way back home again. So I go all the way back home again. I grab my passport. I go back to the thing again. And then halfway around, halfway walking there, I, like, feel my pocket. And I'm like, there's just coins. Where did the 10 euro bill go? And I'm like... I, I lost the 10 euro bill and I'm like, I don't know what happened to it. So I go back home again to see if I lost it there. I can't find it. I'm just like, fuck it. I don't care anymore. So I find my bank card. <laughs> I grab my bank card instead. I walk back to the store again. And now I can actually pay for it. Suddenly it's no longer 15 bucks. It's like 19 something. So like, even if I had it, it wouldn't have been enough. So I had to go back anyway for the bank card either way. So like, and now I had to pay 20 bucks for some reason to even pick it up. And then I finally have my package, and I'm just like, good. So that's what I've been. That that was my day today. Yeah. Oh. Right now I want to be. Oh wait, this is this is what I think it is, right? Oh my god. One one's too late. Okay, that's good. Okay. Come on. This is Rumi died. No! The cat is just chilling. <laughs> like, I just followed the camera. Oh my god, okay. Sure. idea what if we all leave what like what if we just all close the stream spontaneously at the same time it doesn't seem fun okay you would think this wouldn't be fun then like yoshi said it was fun spooky said it was fun nin said it was fun i'm like okay i'll try it and it's like actually been fun so far it's probably not something that everyone would enjoy definitely not but like i'm surprisingly enjoying this so far maybe after i die to find the room like five times not anymore but you know We'll find that out the hard way, I guess. Can I? Can I? I need to. Okay, I'll warm up at the first room eventually. Please, this corner jump is not that hard. <laughs> That's not one of the harder ones. Okay. Please? That's just a wave dash. That's not even a corner jump dash. That's literally an up dash. Okay, you know. I under. Why is that one impossible now? I don't get it. I corner jump my block. No! Fuck! I've never, like, I've never done Berry 6, even casually. It's this. <laughs> it's like, uh, Ultra into, like, corner boost off there. There is some setup for it to make it, like, two frame perfects instead of, you know. You see what this berry is? <laughs> yeah! Okay, <laughs> I gotta do that after. Okay. Corner again. No. 
God damn it. <laughs> no. No. I got like two inputs away. Also, I have a times four streak on room three again. Damn. Four death. If you look at my total run count, I have 650 deaths in room one, nine in room two, five in room three, two in room four. What? I didn't, I let go of down like instantly. Like I let go of down like instantly. Wait, that was not the issue. Wait, there's something else wrong. I love room two to end. <laughs> A room two to end, okay, surely. I should just do Velvet Beast at now and then give it another hour of attempt instead of brute forcing it now. That's probably the smarter thing to do. Actually, I'm gonna do that. Really? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so. Alright, not only did I corner jump off of both sides, both sides I also corner jumped from wall leniency so that the crumble didn't activate. You don't even know how like dumb that was. I don't think a lift boosted C pop is a thing. Well, it is a thing. Okay, you I do don't enough, enable them. If you do it off a zipper or a swap block. Wait, can you actually get a lift boosted C pop? Yeah, there's one that in like- That literally makes no sense! What do you mean? It's just a climb jump. It's a but... climb jump where you bonk in the ceiling. You can still get a lift boost. Hey Parrot, would you rather have a monkey NFT or a, or, or a lion NFT? They both suck. This is, this is yeah, like saying, do you want you to do? drink oil or gasoline? No! Aww. I passed the hard corner jump to that to the easier one, duh. What if we kissed on the <laughs> yeah. D1D7 intro car in the hard room? <laughs> that's so that's the first thing someone heard you say. Not the I'm 95% sure that's the first thing someone heard you say. They could have been worse things. I have, a, I have a poster of it on my wall. Look, there's the D1D7 intro car. Parrot can't do rock climbing in a fursuit. Okay, that will do it. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, well... <laughs> nice. Are you surprised? No, wait, what? I didn't mean to hold back that much. I held back. I, okay, I didn't mean to do that. We need to show the chat the completely unedited picture of you. Oh, yeah, you should. Yeah, no, go ahead. Oh, Perry, if you want, you can show the completely unedited photo Where of is me it? on street. Here we go. I called it unedited photo of me because that's what it is. <laughs> this oh. is such a picture. <laughs> this is the picture. This is an unedited <laughs> picture of Yannick. Yes, yes. You can see that it's just the same picture over and over again because it's not edited. It says face app because I wanted it in multiple circles, not because I edited it. Get it? Yeah, it's Do you have a picture multiple of multiple circles. You? Just to compare, because uh, it's funny. Me? Yeah, yeah, sure. It'd be I funny do. to yeah. compare. Damn, my guy almost bald. Yeah, he's no longer yeah, bald I now. I used to be almost bald. He was bald for like a year. He just, he just, he had like a hair. Then he was like, I'm gonna go bald. I don't see his. I... Yeah, I'm gonna bite you. you. Sorry. Balls. Yeah, see, I'm 23 months. Yeah, wait, one more month. Nah, it's been subbed here. for 23 months. Yeah, correct. That's uh, a lot of money. But you're not, you're, you're not subbed right now. Sorry. I'm founder. Why do you not have a s- oh, the founder replaces the sub badge. Yeah, I think, yeah, the, I think it's the fact cool. that that does- I think it's stupid. What do you mean? I, I, it's me so too. much more rare than like any other badge. That is true, but also my nuts. Okay, why has stream devolved into biting fetish? Okay, we should move on, I think. I'm- okay, oh I'm in the frame really. Surely? It's gaming, it's gaming. Hold on. No. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I do that? Okay. No, 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 like that two frame is actually impossible. <laughs> it is actually hard. Yeah, that's a, the map ends in the two frame wall once. That's like honestly fair, but also, god damn it. Pummy. Don't die to Pummy. Oh, it's hard. It's, it's hard. I didn't even... What? That didn't work? 
How did I not work? I entered the board high, no, what? What? Yeah, what did I oh. do? The what? Yeah, that's fair. Go the one seventy six B. Okay. Yes! Let's go! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> nice. Blazing stratosphere, yo. I'm glad I got a fast today. That was like a half an hour into stream. I didn't even die to room three today. I didn't even die to room three today. I just died to room two once, room four, and then I got it. <laughs> Dang. Cool. That was like fun. I like enjoyed it. Um, 11 hours. Yeah, that took a bit. I, that was uh, nine final room deaths. I mean, I guess we have the stats. I guess I can quickly go back in for the stats. Um. <laughs> So hi Adam, thank you. So I mean this this graph is funny. So I have 19 1945 deaths to room one, 86 to room two, 28 to room three, 10 to room four. Oh, it is the entries actually, entries and one entry to room five. True. Uh, is it like obviously right? Oh, these were the sessions, right? Session one, session two, session three. This one. Bang it. 